everyone I hope you're all doing well so I'm currently just at East Queen's Airport in the Starbucks and um, because me and mom are actually heading off to Milan today for a little pre 30th birthday trip say hi mom hi already um, I'm hoping I get on the plane with this bag because mom has well and truly stitched me up here she said that this bag would be okay for like under your seat because as long as you can fit it under your seat yeah, like, you're filling be fine. it with too much no because we've just got a meal deal and everything like that maybe I should have got a <laughs> separate bag from a meal deal um, I've just got myself a nice caramel mag decaf nut blend milk you know the score and an almond croissant because I haven't actually had any breakfast yet uh, it's 11.20, we are taking off at 12.45, so we need to keep an eye on the board. My mum is one of these people that normally when she travels, she relies heavily on my dad for all the info, so I need to be on the ball with her, else we'll probably end up missing the flight. <laughs> you are, you, mum, you've got to admit, you are a little doper. You two people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. well, I've to you all out. What have you done? No, basically, mum booked the flights because she treated me to the flight, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so obviously that's mum's responsibility, like if mum books a flight, that's your responsibility to check us in, unless you want to send me the details over. So yeah, mum has sorted that out, but I sort of, I've sorted the Airbnb out. I've done the, um... You were going to say you've done the passenger locator, but everyone has to do that, yeah. I've done mine as <laughs> well. Um, but yeah, anyway, how long is the flight mum? It's only a couple of hours, isn't it? Apparently we're not sitting together. Our mum also declared that to me because she didn't want to pay the extra six pound or whatever it is each to sit next to each other. So I don't know how I feel about that because I'm not a confident flyer at the best of times. And then knowing that mum's going to probably be right at the front of the plane, and I'm going to be sitting at the back. That's right, yeah. Is, is it really? Why do they do that? And I bet they have spaces next to each other, but they just do it on purpose. It's so crafty. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble too much in this intro, guys. But yeah. Super excited to be heading to Milan. Um, we've kind of like drafted out like what we're going to be doing. So we're not getting there till like later on today because the airport, I don't think it's like the most central one to Milan. I think it's like 45 minutes to an hour away. So we need to, <laughs> we've not really researched it to be honest with you, but we need to try and find like either a tram, train or bus to get to our you Airbnb. Do that, yeah. I know, but I don't really know where to start with it. So yeah, we need to do that. Um, and we're not going to get there till later on ish, so we'll probably just end up going out with food tonight, start the day fresh tomorrow, explore Milan tomorrow. We've got a trip to Lake Como on the Thursday, which I'm really looking forward to. Friday will probably be another day in Milan or just mooching around, and then Saturday we're home. So, anyway, here's to the Milan vlog, guys. And um, yeah, fingers crossed we make our flight. Okay, so we've arrived in Milan. I just thought I'd quickly vlog on my phone rather than get my camera out. Um, so, I'll explain more in a bit of how, well actually I'll just explain now, so basically we got to the airport, dead easy, just walk outside and then there's a um, coach section and it has outside like trains to central Milan, so we just got one of them, it was 10 euro, it's so simple, and now we've been dropped off at like the Milan central it's station for the bus, um, and now we need to get a train <laughs> because we're not anywhere near our accommodation, it's like an hour and a half walk. Um, so yeah, now I think we've got to get a train, which we need to figure out, which is going to be fun. I don't even know what Mum's doing, she's just going to go and get a train. We need to know what train we're getting on. Um, but yeah, anyway, thought I'd update you. Okay, so you're going to have to excuse the state of me because I've been travelling all day. I've had a mask on. You guys know the drill with masks. It just takes off all your makeup. Um, but we have finally got to the apartment. So we've actually chose to hire out a Airbnb whilst we're here rather than stay in a hotel. It's because you get more space. Um, it's a little bit more like home from home and yeah, we've each got like a separate room as well, which I was desperate for. Um, so yeah, it seems a really nice location. So what we did is we got to the airport, got a bus to like the central train station, then took a metro line, then got off the metro at the, is it Dumo? I still need to like know and find out how to pronounce all these things, but like the cathedral place, I think I'm saying that completely wrong. Um, but yeah, anyway, we got off there, then I believe you could have got a tram, but me and mum was a little unsure like what to do with like tram tickets, how to get on the tram and stuff. So we just thought we'd walk because it said on my thing like a 20 minute walk, um, which was a little bit 
hard lugging a suitcase around over the cobbly streets, but it was fine. Anyway, we're here now, so I'm just going to give you a little room tour because I feel like this apartment is really decent. It smells so nice. Come in and do you know like when someone's been around with like some Sephora or something, it just smells so fresh and clean. So yeah, I'm going to show you. And it was a reasonable price as well. So I'll leave the Airbnb details in the description if you want to stay here. Because like I say, it's literally 15, 20 minutes. Well, I say 20 minute walk to the like main central bit, like the cathedral thing. Is that, is that what it is, Mum? The cathedral? Yeah. Um, but like if you walk out here, there's loads of shops and restaurants and stuff as well. It seems a good area. So when you walk in, I'm just at the front door now. We have a room to the right, which is going to be Mum's room. So each room has a TV. I believe there's Netflix on there as well, which is really nice. They've left some fresh towels. Um, it smells so nice in here. And they're really decent sizes as well, aren't they, the rooms? Mm. Nice and spacious, not like a hotel room. And then, take a step down here, we've just got a little kitchen area, which, that's perfect for us, because we're obviously going to be eating now, but we can just have like a nice cup of tea in the morning. I have brought my Yorkshire tea, just a little table there. And then, I love all of this. What would you call this, Mum? It's like rustic, isn't it? Um, yeah, but it looks like really modern. So yeah, this is the bathroom. So I've just got a really nice shower. All looks really modern. Toilet, bidet, and then into my room. God, this room is big, isn't it, Mum? Mm. Which, again... I mean, if there's four of you, two couples, it'd be ideal. Yeah, it'd be and really cheap. good. Yeah. How much should we pay? 400 400 for four nights. Four nights? Or is yeah. it three nights? Night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, night, four nights. Yeah, that's, I think that's really, really good. Um, yeah, they've got really nice touches like vases, like I say, TV in every room. They've also left out some like little toiletries for us, which is really cute. Some fresh towels, and it smells so clean too. Um, and hopefully the beds are nice. So, Literals. Oh, are they? Yeah. Didn't even look at that. I couldn't see. It's quite dark in here. Oh, Rachel's toiletries. That is nice. It's little touches like that. And then, yeah, you've got, like, wardrobe space and stuff. Yeah, this apartment seems really nice, guys. Anyway, I am going to freshen up. I think me and Mum are going to go out some dinner because I am starving. Um, and, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so night number one, and I've already forgot to bring my vlogging camera out. Great start. Um, but we are just in a little Italian restaurant. It wasn't too far down the road, was it, Mum? We've literally only walked like seven minutes or something down the road. <laughs> yeah, the first one we came to. We just couldn't really go out to walk today just because it's been a long day, hasn't it, like travelling? So we just wanted to find somewhere where we could just come in, have some food, have a nice drink, and then get back, get fresh for tomorrow. Me and Mum have both ordered the same. You've copied me. Um, Mum was going to have the tomato pasta, weren't you? But we've ended up both going for like a creamy pasta. Don't know what it's going to be like. It's quite hard. Like, obviously, we're in Italy, it's open to Italian. So when you're looking at it, you don't always know what you're ordering, do you? <laughs> so you're just like, yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> um, I'll show you my drink. So I've gone for an April. Mum's gone for red wine. Strange from you. Is it any, not any good? Mm. I like red wine. Oh, yeah. Didn't think red wine was your thing. But yeah, it's really cute in here. Open kitchen. You can't really see much. Look, I'll show you in the background there. Okay, so food has come. It looks delicious. We're going to talk him. I'll let you know what it's like. Okay, so after a lovely evening, we've just been to the little local supermarket. I don't know about you guys, but I love looking in local supermarkets. You've seen like, the different food they have. Saying that, we just picked up the things that we recognised because it's hard, isn't it, like, when you don't understand anything. Um, I was saying about, well, like, the local supermarkets, but yet we've got winter bicks and the yogurts we get back at home. Um, obviously, we've got some milk for tea. Um, we've got these. These are the only Italian things we did pick up. Don't know what they are, but they looked quite nice. And I'm hoping they're nice biscuits to put in a tea. Oh, look, they've got honey in, I think, Mum. Is that honey? Butter. Looks like lemon, is it? Oh no, wait, that's egg, egg. isn't it? Egg. egg and butter. Maybe like a buttery biscuit. Mum picked up some chocolate. What chocolate is this? I don't know. Chocolate with milk of the elf. Oh, is it just plain chocolate? Plain, yeah. Oh. Milk of the elves, I don't know if that's right. And sugar. I think that's, that's sugar. For you. And um, yeah, I just like a bit of sugar on my wheat mix. And um, coffee pods. Is that the right one? Yeah. Coffee pods, Mum. Sugar. Sugar. I don't know. 
it felt like sugar. <laughs> it felt like it. Yeah, I think yeah, it yeah. Got it right, didn't I? I kind of like. I think it's a similar word in Spanish for sugar, and that's why I recognised it. So yeah. Anyway, that is our little yeah. food haul, and I also got a water as well. So not very interesting. I didn't show you my outfit, but to be honest with you, there's not a full length mirror in here. Um, but I'll quickly try and show you. Tonight I wore this um, bandeau jumpsuit from PLT. Hair down, earrings in. I did put on like a nice blazer a bit too, but. Oh god, I feel so bloated now after that pasta. Yeah, it's quite hard to see because like I say, it's like a full length mirror. But anyway, we're going to make a cup of tea now and get in bed and watch the Netflix. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So, it is day one officially in Milan. I mean, day one was yesterday, but yeah. we got quite late in the evening, yeah. didn't we? So, this is our actual full day. It's a little late to be better. It's about 10.45 that we're venturing out um, but it was a long day yesterday and I was so tired because the night before I went to Milan I went to bed at 2 and then I got up at 6 so I had like 4 hours sleep so I feel like I had a much needed rest last night and yeah today we're going to have a nice day in Milan it seems a little bit cool at the moment but the sky's really blue it does seem sunny so we're in um, the shade yeah we are in the shade I feel like whenever you're in the sun it's just so much warmer um, but yeah so we're heading down to well, how do you say so the cathedral place, like what is it called? The Du Dumo? Dumo, yeah. I, I want to put it, I'm gonna put it in Google to see how you say it, because I like to get my pronunciations right and not sound an idiot saying something completely wrong. Um but yeah, we're gonna go there today because we briefly had a little look at it when we come out of the um metro line, but we've not had a proper look. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Then they also have a Starbucks. Now I know that sounds really weird. Everyone's gonna be like, oh Laura, you're in Milan and you're going to Starbucks, but it's supposed to be like one of only a few in the world, like it's an actual, more like a landmark place to go I think. So anyway, everyone's told me I need to go and check it out because apparently it's really beautiful and whatever. So yeah, we're going to go there too. I'm going to put my camera down now. <laughs> Sorry, I had to put my camera down guys. Oh, look at these pastries. There's so many little like patisserie shops, isn't there? Mm. So cute. So this is the road we are walking down. This is where we are staying in our Airbnb. Um, like I say, it's really quite central, isn't it, really, Mum? Yeah. It's only like a 15 minute walk. Obviously, you're not going to be staying. Well, to be fair, you can actually stay pretty much overlooking that big cathedral thing. Yeah. There's some apartments, you know, but they were like sold out for the whole year. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. um, I know someone that stayed in one of them, they looked amazing. But yeah, it's basically just pretty much a straight road into like the centre because we did this walk yesterday and there is a tram line just here that you can get but me and mum was um, too inexperienced to get the tram yesterday weren't we? We were trying to figure out how we would get it. You have to get them from a kiosk. kiosk. So yeah, we might attempt that at some point. But yeah, anyway, come along to my line with us. Okay, so we have just walked to the Duomo. I think that's how you say it. I just um, Google checked to see how it's pronounced. So, so pretty around here. Just like a really nice square. Um, and yeah, everything just looks so picturesque. And just a lot of like nice architecture and buildings. So pretty. Let's give you a pen back around. Um, I believe someone said you can go up there. Can you go in there? I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have a little look. Mum's just walked off again. She keeps leaving me. Don't you? <laughs> Mum, I, I swear someone said you can go in there and like up there. Yeah. There is somebody walking at, walking at the top. Yeah. yeah, someone said you need to walk up the top. It's really good. Too sure, but it looks really pretty in here. Oh, yeah, I think it's like Gucci shops and expensive shops around here as well, you know. Let's have a little look what's in here then. Again, it's so pretty. It's 
the architecture is so nice, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. It's amazing how they like, build all these kind of things, like back in the day. Like, is it a stone mason? Yes. Well, I would have Okay, so we are now en route to the Starbucks. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy, obviously there is some background traffic. Um, we've just had a little look around the Duomo, I think I said that right. Um, and like the shopping areas, there's all loads of like nice design shops. I don't know what that, Mum, did you get the name of what that shopping bit yeah. is? I didn't get the name, we need to have a little look at that. But yeah, it was really nice around there. Um, but we're now on the move. I think it's straight on, Mum. I've just took my um, sat nav off. Just on the move to the Starbucks place, which everyone has said is just like a must visit. It's really nice. So, yeah, that's where we're headed. Okay, so just got to the Starbucks. It's called Reserve Rue. Roastery. Um, it looks really nice building from outside, but apparently it's supposed to be a little bit more impressive inside, so we're going to go in. Let's go and take a walk in. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? Like sitting outside. It's quite in the shade. Yeah. Well, we've got our masks on, Mum. Starbucks. I've gone for, I think it's like a hazelnut, la hazelnut latte or something. The menus are obviously really different over here, aren't they? And then you've gone for a pistachio latte. latte. And then we also seen loads of nice croissants that just look so fluffy and lovely. So we've gone for a raspberry croissant. And yeah, we're just sitting in and this is where all the coffee is. What do they do? Grind. Grind. Yeah, it's really nice in here. I definitely would like to just come in. If you like Starbucks, I mean, not everyone would probably enjoy this, but um, it's a nice little stop for a coffee, isn't it? Just something different to see. And mum is going to sample her coffee. Sweet. Sweet, yeah. You don't like sweet coffee as well. Nice. So, we've done a little bit of shopping in Zara for the last few hours because it's just always nice to come and do some shopping when you're away. And now we've just headed indoors and we're just going up to the April bar. Um, a lot of you said to come here. So, um, yeah, I think there's a little bit of a wait because it overlooks the Jumo. But yeah, we're going to see what it's all about. We're just at the Imperial Bar. Honestly, mask life, I'm not used to it. And I feel like I, I just said to mum, I need to start carrying makeup around with them. Every time I take my mask off, half my makeup's gone off. Um, anyway, we just got to the Aperol bar. Aperol? Aperol, Aperol. <laughs> I never say it right. Um, and they've just bought this out. I feel like this must be complimentary with your drinks. Um, and it's so pretty here. Really recommend it. It is obviously a little on the pricey side, as you would expect. It was 18 euro for a drink. But these views and the pictures you can get here and just how nice it is, I think it's worth coming. So, yeah, it's cute, isn't it, Mum? Cello was nice as well. <laughs> it's quite strong. <laughs> you Look, if you do it in one, it's easier, no, softer. You, yeah, you've got quite, you try it. Okay, so meanwhile, we have just been for dinner. Here's a little outfit of the day, because I'm not showing you. Um, what do you think? Do what? Of the dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really nice. 
that the thing? Oh, there was pasta. Can't breathe in these masks, guys. Yeah. Um, you, didn't, you didn't get a lot. Oh, that's better lighting. Yeah, you didn't get a lot of food, but it was really tasty. Yeah. Would recommend. Nice scenery, Mum. Yeah. Like a nice restaurant to eat at. Um, we've actually used public transport to get to here, which I'm really impressed with. Okay. We got a tram and then we got a bus. And on the way back, we're getting two trains because I don't think the trams are running. But yeah. Good morning, everyone. So. It's been a little bit chaotic this morning um, and I've been just been able to pick up the vlog and now honestly this mask life is really annoying me guys I know it's obviously the rules and stuff over here but when you're not used to it at home now and it's like finally you can walk out with a face full of makeup that stays intact all day and then you go to wearing masks again I feel like I've just done all my makeup nice and I've just took it off and all my makeup's come off anyway it is what it is um, but yeah also because I've got this on and we've literally been on the go since we left the door like we've been on the tram then we've had to get the train I just feel like I can't speak that clearly with these on um, but anyway we have just they've given me a bit of a burnt one or is that just like burnt or Christmas? not burnt um, but anyway, we've just got through the central train station. So to get here from where our apartment is, we had to get a tram and then we had to get a underground train. Um, and yeah, so now we're here um, and we've just bought our tickets to Lake Como. We are departing in about 40 minutes. So I just wanted to get a quick cross on. Um, it's really, really easy to get to Lake Como, guys. I had so many people saying that they're coming to Milan soon or looking to book a trip. Um, so all you basically need to do is get to the central train station and then you need to find the Tren Treni Trenitalia line. Um, there's all like ticket machines and there are people that speak English that be able to help you but yeah you basically want to find one of them machines um, and obviously you can put it in English so it's quite explanatory isn't it yeah, and you just want to get it to go to Como San Giovanni I think that's how you say it um, really cheap as well wasn't it Mo? it's 480 each way so it works out in English about 16 pounds for yeah. both of us yeah. so 8 pound each for a return to Lake Como everyone has said like definitely do this and to be fair I'm glad we're doing this because we had a nice day in Milan yesterday, it's nice to break it up and go yeah. somewhere different today. So, um, yeah, that is the POA. So, I, how long did it take to get there? I think it was 40 minutes mm. on this train, it's a straight with train. So, that means we'll get there at about half 11. Yeah. So, that's not too bad. We're not early risers, as you can probably tell. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to meet my croissant. I'm also going to show you around Lake Como. It's supposed to be beautiful from the pictures. Is that about it? I'm going to eat now because I'm really hungry. Ciao! Oh, I've got a croissant, by the way. We've crusted it. I love it over here, how they have so many more different variations of croissants, don't you think? Like, we have um, different, different dishes. Okay. Yeah, we have chocolate. Yeah, we have chocolate and almond, which yeah. is quite common. But like, they have like custard, jam, jam. Apple. Yeah, just like 10 different flavours and I'm living for it because I love blooming croissant. Anyway, bye. And also they have pizzas everywhere which I'm here for as well and calzones and I just love Italian food basically. Mm. Just got to Lake Homo, we've just got off the train. We don't really know where we're going. Do you still know where we're going? No, no, just... We're just kind of um, into the following the crowd. It's so pretty around here. It's really, really nice. Um, it was really straightforward to get the train yeah. guys so I yeah. definitely yeah. recommend doing it. Like I say, all you need to do is go to the central station loads of people that speak english there if you need help but yeah you just basically get a ticket um to lee como it couldn't get any simple is it that up there mom we're a bit stuck now but yeah let me just show you where we are we're in like a little square which is so pretty Can we stay here for a week or so? Just watch the corn grow in the fields. I don't know what's on your mind, but I know that it's something about you. Okay, so we've just come to a little lakeside, kind of like cafe restaurant, isn't it? We've been walking for ages, basically. We've walked all the way from Como to here. I don't know how many miles we've done. How many do you reckon? 
steps so far today. God, and we've still got to walk back. Anyway, we've both got pizza now, so we're gonna and chuck in and enjoy. When she was just a girl, she expected the world, but it flew away from her reach, so she ran away in her sleep and dreamed of para, para. Okay, I don't know how long it's been since the picture of the vlog, guys. Oh my god, guys, I just need to pause it right here because obviously when I was speaking in this moment, I didn't realize how drunk I sounded. I wasn't actually that drunk, but the thing is with me, as soon as I have a drink, I start slurring my words when I talk. So I just wanted to put that in. I was going to cut this clip out, but I thought it was actually quite funny. So here we go. But in the meantime, me and mum have been all around Lake Como. <laughs> don't know where the hell we have been. We've basically been in the most untouristic area. No, we have. There was no tourists there, basically. We were the only English people there. We were looking for hours to find a restaurant that just served food. We eventually got some food. Um, and yeah, it was fun. We ended up getting mojitos somewhere. Yeah. Mum is drunk. No. Mum is out drunk, yeah. And now, basically, we like we'll walk back because we've had too many drinks we can't like pay to get back because we paid too many drinks <laughs> so that was the plan but then i seen like a um boat just like departing and i was like let's go and see if we can get the boat it was only like six euros wasn't it five five it was so cheap so we ended up i can't even see where i'm looking we ended up getting the boat back which is really good wasn't it yeah it's a good experience yeah back to como now we're gonna walk and just maybe find like a little bar, get some tiramisu, get some gelato, and then we're gonna get the train back, aren't we? A coffee. Coffee. Okay, guys. So we have just finally got home. And on the way home, we went past this place that sell like pokeballs, um, and I'm a little bit peckish, not gonna lie. So we've got yeah, zoom in it. Let me zoom you out. I'm not zooming out. We've got two poker bowls. We don't really know what we ordered. We just like salmon pokey. So this is what we've got. It looks actually really nice. Is it raw salmon though, Mum? Is that what you're having sushi? Oh, so you can eat it like that. Of course you can. I'm okay. going to give you stuff that you can't eat. Okay, okay. Well, we'll see what it's like. Good morning everyone, so it is our last day in Milan today. I don't know how much I vlogged actually yesterday. Me and mum ended up having, well we only had three drinks didn't we, at Lake Como, but we definitely felt the effect once we got up and moved. They were so strong. It's not like England where they like measure your shots out, they were quite strong mojitos. I said they're doubles. Um, so yeah, we had a bit of a palaver. I don't want to move too near the music box, so maybe I had to move there. But yeah, we had a bit of a palaver getting back from Lake Como. Mum asked someone, I think Mum was quite vague and Mum says, oh, does this go to Milan? And the woman said, yeah. So we got on this train, but what Mum needed to say was, does this go to the central station? Because then I was like tracking it on my um, phone and it was taking ages as well. Like the one we got to go to Lake Como only takes like 40 minutes. It's a real high speed train. This one, honestly, it was like taking two hours how it felt. I don't know if yeah. it was. And then anyway, I looked and we'd actually gone past the central station. I was like, Mum, we just need to get off here and navigate back. So we got off, managed just to get like a metro to central. Then we got a metro from Central to Duo Duomo, and then we ended up getting the wrong tram as well. <laughs> so it was all just a bit of a nightmare. And then, um, yeah, on the way back, we ended up just getting a Poke Bowl and didn't go out for dinner because obviously it was late and we'd been walking all day. How many steps did we do yesterday, Mum? 27,000. We needed 5,000 steps, basically. That is just, no wonder I've got blisters on my feet today. Um, but yeah, anyway, today we're just mooching around Milan, Central. Um, on our agenda today, we need to find somewhere does good ice cream we've still not yet to have some ice cream so that is what we're gonna do we're also just gonna maybe have some nice food mum's fed up with pasta though <laughs> but it's not like pasta and pizza isn't just that italian food like they have like fish and meat and stuff you know how much is the um <gasps> yeah anyway we're just tracking down ice cream now i'm just gonna have a little mix again um, I've just been to Mango and purchased myself, I don't know if you can see them, but I don't even know what I'm showing you. Wait. Basically purchased myself some sandals. Sandals were... Sandals were the one thing I didn't bring in my suitcase because I didn't realise it was going to be this warm. Um, I knew it was going to be warm looking on the weather wrap, but I thought like I'd still put on any trainers or boots, like maybe it wouldn't be sandal weather. 100% sandal weather. So um, I ended up walking down in my heels. Went into Mango, 
grabbed some um oh mom i seen this place on um um youtube someone it's like they have it's like traditional italian food that they do yeah so let me show you guys this place so i saw this on someone's youtube i feel like these are like a speciality in italy <laughs> So yeah, if you like these are a speciality in Milan or Italy, I'm not too sure. But yeah, everyone's looking at me. <laughs> Let's move. Yeah, mum, they are, they're called pan, panzerottis. I'm, yeah. I'm not really too sure what they are. But you know, last night I, I was looking on, um, I was just randomly watching someone's YouTube video when they went to Milan. They go around like all the food places and try to find like, the traditional food and stuff. And they went here, this is the place they went. No, it's just like street food. I don't know, I don't really know what it is. We could try one, let's have a look what they are. Okay, so we've just got a paper bowl for the customisation. I don't really know what they are, but um, it looks delicious. I think it's going to be better than last night because we've got the chicken. Rice, mango, edamame. If I take the lid off, actually, it might be a little bit better. Oh that goodness guys anyway we're just looking on you know how it is but um, i'm excited nice don't you okay i'm on my um phone because mum's got my camera in her bag we finally got some gelato ice cream so i've gone for strawberry mint chocolate chip because that's my absolute favorite me and mitch always get mint chocolate chip and banana this one is mm. i don't think i've ever had banana ice cream mm. i've just had a little bit and it's so nice this was four euros mm. for a medium so it is a little bit cheaper if you come okay. further afield and not right next to like the cathedral and stuff um but yeah oh banana 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 I think that was yogurt, raspberry, yogurt, raspberry, oh, right. wasn't it? I think it says yogurt with it. What's it taste like? Strawberry. Mm. And mum's got tiramisu. The tiramisu one's really nice. I just like to stick to old classico flavours. Once I've had these, I'll then go back and try the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one here now, Laura. Mmm. So good. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see me because I can't even see the viewfinder right now because it's so sunny. Um, but me and mum have just had a really, really nice ice cream. We've just walked from the cathedral up to the castle. There are so many places you can walk in the land, obviously. Yeah, you've got your central bit where the shopping is and the cathedral, but even if you just like take a wander through the streets, there's just so much to see. Just a nice place yeah. to go, isn't there? Um, so yeah, we nipped into the gelato shop on the way, which was so good. How would you rate your ice cream? Yeah, uh, do you know what? I'd go as far as saying it's probably some of the best ice cream I've ever had. Mm. It just tasted like so creamy and like the, the texture of it was just so soft. It was really good. Um, so yeah, we've just had that and then um, we're just going to have a little mood around the castle and just see what's here. Cute little waterfall. Waterfall? Fountain. What is it called? Fountain. <laughs> In the back. There's so many cute dogs here as well, guys. It's really nice. What is it? I need a drink, Mum. But yeah, anyway, this is the castle. The fountain, not the waterfall. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, it's such a lovely day. And my feet are so happy now they're in comfy shoes. I mean, look at my tan. That needs a good scrub when I get back. Oh my god, that's so bad. Do you know what? I didn't. I, look at that on my dress as well, Mum. Like you spilled your ice cream down there. Right? Yeah. There she goes. <laughs> Where are we going now? We're going to have a look at the castle. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we've just had a little walk around the castle. I'll just show you it from the other view. So you can basically just like walk through and around and just have a little mood, which is quite good, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just saying that we're surprised you don't have to pay to do that. Um, and then we've come out at the other end now. It's just like really nice gardens, aren't they, Mom? Yeah. There's like an arch or something up there that looks really pretty. Yeah, it's such a nice day. It's definitely a lot busier today. We've been Friday. I feel like people maybe mm. had like half a day work. I don't know. It just seems really busy today, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, this is the main attraction as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's so nice around here. You could bring a picnic to the park, couldn't yeah. you? Big cute. But yeah, it's really, really beautiful. 
Good evening everyone, so me and Mum are just currently getting ready, um, we kind of like get back if we can, well other than yesterday, to the room about half five-ish just so we can have like an hour just to sit down and chill, because um, as you guys know like when you're on a city break it's just all go all day and you do a lot of walking, how many steps have we done today Mum? 17,000 which is quite good, to be fair we've been sat down a little bit in the park and stuff haven't we? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's been another lovely day just like mooching around Milan and exploring. There's so many different areas, obviously, you can go. Like, it is so big. It isn't just obviously the cathedral area and the shopping. Like, you can just really wander off and go around all the different neighbourhoods and stuff, which is always really nice to see. There's quite a lot of like historic buildings just everywhere else, isn't there, Mum? Yeah. Like, you feel like everywhere you turn, there's always something. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so final night tonight, I am tired, my feet are hurting, I've got blisters on them because, do you know what, I really need to find a better pair of heels other than Perspect heels, I always like wear Perspect heels just because they go over everything, they're easy, you know, I can just take one shoe and it kind of goes with every single outfit, but I always find they rub, and at the time, they never feel that bad, but then, you know, they feel really comfy when I'm wearing them, but I always find when I get in, or the next morning, I look at my feet, and they are just absolutely battered, so I feel like with this outfit tonight, I'm just going to wear trainers, because my poor feet, honestly, um, it's annoying though, because I don't really go, I want to wear heels, but it just feels like too much of an effort, um, so we don't have anywhere booked tonight, we are just going to venture out into the neighbourhood, hopefully find somewhere like local by, um, I am starving, I don't want to walk too far, I just want to get some nice food and then we're just going to come back, pack and then we've got quite an early start in the morning because obviously the airport that we went to, Ber Bergam Bar how do you say it? Bergamo, Bergamo. Um, it isn't like right next, you know what I mean, it's not like walking distance or just like one train, it is that it is a tram, then a train to Milan Central, and then you get off at Milan Central, and then if you go outside, there's a bus, I don't know if it's a bus station, but there's basically like a bus stop where there is a um, bus to the airport. So yeah, that's what we've got to do tomorrow, so we need to make sure that we're up on time, and we leave ourselves plenty of time just to make sure that we get the bus, I think it's every hour. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do tomorrow, and it's literally just straight home. Um, but anyway, come along for tonight. I probably won't take my vlogging camera out again. I will just do it on my phone, just because it's so much easier. And I feel like this camera's not very good for like low light settings anyway. So yeah, my phone does tend to be better. Um, but yeah, let's see what food we get tonight. It's very yellow. Mm. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of this Milan vlog. I didn't actually kind of like end it face to face um, because we had a very early start in the morning to travel back to England. But I had an amazing time with mom. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with us too. I wasn't actually intending on vlogging this because it was supposed to be a bit of like a cut off from work and relaxing. But I thought you guys would love this all the same. So I really hope you have enjoyed it and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye bye.